I think it's somewhat ironic uh, to see uh, some members of Congress wanting to make common cause with the hardliners in Iran. Uh, it's an unusual coalition. Yeah, isn't it though? With the just the smile, the arrogance. Anyway, um, he's talking about the 47 Republican uh, senators who signed a letter to the Ayatollah saying, "You sign this deal, has to go through us first. And by the way, the next president could do away with the deal. Joining us now is Noel Nickpour, Republican strategist, political consultant, and author of Branding America. All right. So, I mean, you know, the president and all is, uh, in my view, arrogant, sitting there saying that. Uh, the Republicans, uh, they're, they're, can we show, can we put up the Daily News, uh, the next cut, the Daily News uh, front page? You know, uh, look at this. Yeah. Uh, traitors. The Daily News is calling the senators who signed that letter traitors. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's pot calling the kettle black. Look what Obama has done, his, you know, overreach of authority there. And he's been bypassing Congress. And basically, Congress is standing up. The, you know, senators are standing up and they're, they're basically saying, we're not going to accept this anymore. This is ridiculous. You have, you have two part. You know, you have the Senate. You have the Congress. You can't keep on ruling this way over and over like they don't even exist. Yeah. So you know what, President Obama, these are the consequences. You you do this deal, and a lot of people don't think this is the right thing to do. You keep bypassing Congress, especially you know with executive orders on what you're doing. They're showing. Look, you may be making deals here and there, but these deals may not stick. Absolutely. And, and, and in this particular instance, the president is planning on going around the Senate, mm -hmm. who usually has to confirm a treaty. Yeah. And, and he's he, now but what's very interesting is I hold in my hand a, a Washington Post editorial from April 5th, 2007, when Nancy Pelosi went to Syria to meet with uh, Assad. George W. Bush said, don't go. Uh, Bush had cut off all ties with Syria at the time. Um, so she went there to try to negotiate with Assad against Bush's wishes. She didn't just write a letter. She went there. She negotiated for Israel. She said the Prime Minister says to, sends a message they're ready to negotiate. When the Prime Minister found out what she said, he said, what the heck is she talking about? Right. So she did this, yet they're making this seem like, oh my God, these people are traitors. Well, let me ask you this. Was her picture uh, on the any kind of news saying traitor? No. Real big? Was it? No, it's not. You know, they, they're gunning for Republicans anyway, and the media is leftist, and everybody knows it's the same old shtick. But I, I well, commend. Well, you said shtick. Shtick. I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you never know about us crazy Republicans, you know. Especially from Arkansas, yeah. <laughs> That's true. And Tom Cotton, Tom Cotton, by the way. He's great. Congressman. And he, he, he wrote the letter. Yeah, yeah, he wrote the letter. He, he did the letter, and, and I really think that uh, it, it's about time that somebody had a backbone to to stand up against what Obama is doing, which a lot of people view as reckless with foreign relations. And, and, and Cotton was a congressman and ran for Senate in, the, in November and won. And you are you you're close with him. You know him. I did uh, some a military, military veteran. Yeah. And and just a, I, I think he's got a great future ahead yeah. of him. If anyone was educated to write the letter it would be someone like Tom Cotton. He served in the U.S. military. He, he, he fought for our country. He understands. Obama's never fought for our country. I'm not saying that he's not a patriot. I'm just saying that who better understands the, you know, the negati negativity of this deal better than Senator Cotton? Yeah, all right. Um, Hillary, of course, spoke today. You know, the Washington uh, uh, Post, I think it was, uh, that, yeah, had a, a piece about how the Democrats are not so fired up about Hillary. So I think even notwithstanding the emails, before the email, the whole thing came out. Do you think we're going to see a, a chat? I mean, um, uh, O'Malley's probably going to run. Do you think that, that Elizabeth Warren gets into this race at all? I think now more than ever, especially with this is another, you already had Benghazi, and now you've got the private emails, and Hillary Clinton is an attorney. She should know better. I mean, even though she's, she's saying- She's the smartest woman in the world. Yeah, she's very smart, <laughs> if you ask her, you yes. know. But what I'm saying is right now there are a lot of uh, chinks in her armor, so this makes O'Malley look better. This yeah. makes Warren and MoveOn.org would do oh, nothing. Yes. They would turn somersaults to get they Elizabeth Warren. Get Absolutely. All right, uh, Noel. Thank you. Good You're to welcome. see you as always. And folks, uh, we will be back. You know what's next? It's this time of the hour. It's Gimme Five. You are going to love this one. I promise you. Right here on the Steve Malzberg Show.